In this video, I wanted to share with you a really neat tool that we have created to be used inside CorelDRAW um, for creating your neon flex LED signs. And this is going to save be a huge timer time saver for you, um, but it, this is just the very beginning of the tool that we've created. We've got lots of ideas that we're going to be adding to it. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. So we have this tool called the My Neon Flex Helper. And this is going to do lots of different things for us, um, but we're just going to walk you through how it works currently. Now, uh, it is currently available. If you go to MyNeonFlex.com, you can purchase the macro in its current state. It's $39.99, and uh, it does come with 50 designs ready to go to production for you. So we've got all kinds of different designs that we've created for you, ready to go. These signs you can resize. They're all in uh, uh, CorelDRAW and SVG format. Um, so you do have both formats available to you. Um, but at any rate, I'm going to show you how this thing works. So what's the first thing that we need to do after we create a design? We need to know how much neon rope that we're going to use to create this design. So all we have to do is select it and choose process design and it's going to immediately spit out that we need 14 feet uh, to create this design. Okay, So we know that Neon Flex is typically sold in 5 meter rolls which works out to be 16.4 feet. Uh, so we need one roll of Neon Flex to create this sign. Well what if I wanted to create a two color design? So now we have two colors. So we'll go ahead and select that again and click on Process Design. And then it shows us how much rope we need for each of our colors. Now this will work up to four colors, okay? Um, so uh, by, by default. So for example, if I come in here and I just add some additional colors, let's just say we wanted to do something crazy and make a really wild looking sign. And we go ahead and click on Process Design. Now it shows us how much rope we need for each of our individual colors. So that is going to be immensely helpful to us. Now it only works up to four colors. Okay, So that's one drawback. Now that's not a big, big deal because if we did have another color, so in this case if I, if I select my whole design, it's going to tell us process design. And it says that the selection exceeds four colors. Okay, So that's no problem. So what we can do is we could just click on uh, process design again and it shows us the four colors but then for the fifth color we would just have to select it separately and then it would tell us boom how much how much color uh, and how much feet we need for the red color for that fifth color. So that's kind of a workaround for you. Now we are open to feedback so if, if uh, it, 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 at my shop, a four-color design, it's, it's not that typical. So, um, so that you know that if you feel like you need more than four-color output, let me know, and it's definitely something we might consider doing. Um, but I think four colors is going to catch you about 99% of the time. All right. So, what else can we do here? Well, another thing that we need to do is uh, just from a production standpoint. Let's go ahead and select this and choose Output Design Details to the page. And what it will do is it will show us what we need for each individual segment of our design. So in this case, we went back to a one color design. But you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's, let's go back. And let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete all of this, all these numbers here. And I'm going to show you something real quick here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's make this black and let's do like we did before and make those blue. Okay, and let's choose output design and try it again. I just want to show you that it's going to output every single color for us. So there you go. Okay, so now we know each individual segment how much rope we need to cut. We don't have to manually shape it around to determine how much to cut. It tells us exactly how much to cut. Now currently 
it is showing us with a half inch, um, it, it, it uh, rounds up to the nearest half inch. Now we are going to change it. Uh, this is just kind of this initial phase. We are going to change it where you can define if you want it to round up or not. So if you don't want any rounding, it will give you the exact length. Um, but if you want to round up to the nearest quarter inch or whatever you want to do, uh, you can be able to set that in the software. It doesn't currently work that way, but it will. All right. So the next thing that it, it isn't great about, and you could see that, is the numbering. We really don't know what the heck is going with what. Okay. Um, but it is uh, pretty easy to tell. So, for example, you notice that the numbers are different colors. So, for example, the number one is going to uh, obviously be related to a blue color. And what we can do is we can, this is just a quick way for you to kind of work around it, okay? When you select a curve and you look at that center X, whatever number is directly above it, that's the number that corresponds to this curve. So we know 1 corresponds to this. If we select 3, what's the number directly above it? That one. If we select 2, what's the number directly above it? See? So what's 1? We don't know what's 1, what's 3, right? But if we select this curve, what's directly above it? Dead center. Well, we know that's right there. And likewise, what's dead center? Number 3. So we can go through that entirely. Now let's look at a different one that I thought was kind of interesting when I was prepping this video. If I click this bottom curve, look at where our X is, what's what's directly above it? This number 2. Okay. Now just as, as a curiosity, let's look at the list. You see number 2 is 27 inches. It's the longest shape in our design and also the longest shape. Uh, so that's just a quick easy way to six, this is this is number six. Directly above it is number seven. This one here, directly above it, that's number ten. Because it's currently programmed to put the shape directly above the center point. So there's eight. So this is probably nine. Yes. That's nine. And then this is five. And where's 4? Directly above 4, there's 4. So that's, a, that's just kind of a quick, easy way to know what is what as far as how to. Now we can print this out and we'll be able to tell, uh, create, create a production sheet. And, and we'll know exactly how long to cut each of our pieces. And then when we actually go to production, we'll know exactly what piece goes where uh, when we cut. Okay, So we can use like a little sharpie as we cut these pieces and, and number them. One, two, three, four, five on the back side of the, of the uh, silicone. And there we go. Okay, So we can select this design. I have another macro that we can resize it. We're going to add to this, this uh, little helper too. Um, but we click on that and it will set it up on a page for us so we can print it out and give that to production to be able to print out. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. Now there are some other things that we're going to be doing. It's going to automatically calculate your power adapter. It's going to be set up to automatically calculate your pricing based on values that you can input. Uh, so, for example, it's going to calculate your power adapter, and then it's going to be come pre-configured. Uh, to have pricing information for each size power adapter that's available on the market from a given vendor. So you'll be able to put those numbers in and it will automatically calculate the pricing for your power adapter. If you add a dimmer switch, um, if you add some kind of special control box, um, it'll, it's, it's going to calculate all that pricing information. So you just click a button and boom, it will automatically produce that for you. So. It's going to be a really useful tool for me in my business, and I definitely think it'll be a useful tool for you and yours. Now, this only works with CorelDRAW currently, um, but we are going to have a version that will work with Inkscape as well as an Inkscape extension. 
So that is something that we're working on as well. All right, so I hope you found this information useful. And like I say, if you want to be one of the early adopters of this tool, um, we will definitely have it available on our website at myneonflex.com. And like I said, it's $39.99 for the macro. Uh, you will get all the updates with the pricing information and, and uh, the uh, power uh, configurations and all that will be added. Um, so when those become available, you will get those free updates. Uh, and then you also get 50 uh, designs as well. Uh, one other quick mention, if I could do a little plug, we will create any design that you need for $5. So we're running kind of a crazy uh, $5 uh, Neon Flex design service. So if any design that you want created, like if for a local bar or whatever, or a quinceanera, or whatever you need, uh, we will create the design for you for just five bucks. Uh, 24 hour turnaround time on those. So pretty good deal. Um, save yourself a little bit of time. And uh, there you go. So appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.